All right. The bodega stabbing. Uh, you know, I think everybody knows the story by now. Uh, a woman comes in. She, she wants to buy a bag of chips for her kid. Uh, she uses one of those cards, which I guess she gets from Warfare, the, 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 uh, like an ATM card. She uses that. Um, it, it, it's, it's rejected. Um, I think it's tried several times. It's rejected several times. The clerk, the guy behind the counter, 61-year-old, uh, you know, takes the bag of chips and says, from the kid, says, sorry, you, you know, you can't buy this. She gets into an argument with him, threatens to call her boyfriend, calls her boyfriend. Boyfriend comes in, uh, basically goes around into his, the space behind the counter, pushes the guys onto the shelf, um, and as the guy's getting up, you know, lunges at him. Uh, at this point, uh, the, the guy... Uh, takes a knife that's somewhere on the shelf there, stabs his attacker five times, um, kills him. Now it turns out that the woman also stabbed him, uh, you know, once she realized what was going on. Uh, he's arrested and uh, now uh, is going to stand trial for second-degree murder. And uh, I think bail was originally set at something like half a million dollars and, and uh, ultimately that was lowered to $50,000, so he's out on bail. Um, and uh, this is really, I mean, I really haven't seen anybody, uh, you know, significant uh, voices out there really talking about um, the, really advocating for this guy to go to jail for a long time. I, I, I just haven't seen that. I haven't really looked that hard, but I haven't seen it. But this makes complete sense that he would be prosecuted, because if you think about, if you think about the district attorney for uh, New York City, uh, this is D.A. Bragg, who I have talked about, who I have talked about on the show uh, a, a couple of times. When he got first elected, I mentioned the fact that this is a uh, attorney general who does not believe in uh, uh, prosecuting things like uh, mugging and even even uh, 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 armed robbery. Eh, maybe not a jail sentence. Jail sentences have to be uh, violent. So this is this is a um, a district attorney that, you know, is the opposite of law and order, uh, that is uh, an advocate for uh, the criminals, that is, um, you know, you'd expect them not to prosecute um, armed robbery, send them off with a slap on the wrist, don't, don't, don't send them to jail. But then when somebody actually defends themselves, put them in jail, lock the keys, I mean, this is a district attorney, Bragg, who clearly wants to turn New York City over to the criminals and, and ran on these ideas in his campaign, got elected in, in, in a mixed election because he got elected at the same time. Uh, the mayor of New York, uh, Mayor Adams, got elected on a tough on crime agenda. And indeed, the mayor of New York has come out clearly on the side of the bodega owner and saying he shouldn't be prosecuted, that this was an act of self-defense. So what you've got right now in New York is a political battle between the progressive win wing of the Democratic Party, and I hate to call them progressives because they don't deserve the title. We're the progressives. I'm a progressive. I believe in progress. They don't believe in progress. They're regressives. Oh, that's, the, that's what we should call them. The regressives of uh, New York City who would like to hand over the city uh, to the criminal element. Of course, they can't actually win long term because people don't like this. So we saw what happened in San Francisco. We're seeing what happens in Philadelphia and L.A. These district attorneys get recalled. Um, but in the meantime, they can do a lot of damage. In the meantime, this guy's doing a lot of damage. And a mayor who was elected by New York City, uh, the less progressive Democrats and, and Republicans... And um, in New York City, uh, Adams is now, uh, is now fighting for law and order and trying to get the police to be tough on crime. And, uh, and that's a battle between the two. And it's going to be interesting to watch. And the bodega is just, the bodega stabbing is just an, a, an illustration of that political battle. My, my guess is going to be that Bragg is going to have to fold uh, that there's too much political pressure on him. If the Democrats start persecuting 
people on uh, uh, su such obvious self-defense claims. I mean, this is, look, if somebody attacks you physically, I agree that the first thing you should do is, is get away from them. I, I'm not a big supporter of, you know, oh, yeah, you should stand your ground and shoot the bastard. Get out of there, you know, because you never know who you're going to shoot at when you shoot. You never know if they're not going to have a bigger gun and shoot you first. The best thing is to protect yourself is to get out of there. But if you're behind a counter on a bodega, you're on the floor, the guy is hunkering and, 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 and dominating you. You're 61 years old and he's a youngster. And there's no way for you, you know, you can't escape. Where are you going to go? You're cornered. You're behind the counter in a narrow space, if you've seen the video. Then you have to do, morally, you have to do anything to stop the violence. I mean, this guy's a hero, not a bad guy. He's a hero because he protected his own life. So it's ridiculous to say, you know, he should, have, he should have backed off, he should have escaped. There was no way to back off. There was no way and no place to escape. By the way, the stats that I've seen, I'm not an expert, haven't looked at it deeply, but I, I did this a few months ago. I looked at the stats. The stats are that in stand your ground states, stand your ground basically is encouraging people when attacked to to take the offensive, to, 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 to not to back away, not to walk away, not to try to disengage, but to go all in. Um, that the number of people uh, who are being killed, not the bad guys, the good guys, the, the people who initially got attacked, though the number of them getting killed um, has gone up. And it doesn't surprise me. Most people don't know how to defend themselves, and mo most people should not try to defend themselves. Most people should try to get the hell out of it. Now, if, if, if you have the capabilities and if you're known, if you know how to, if you've trained on a gun and if you know how to use it and so on, it's a different story. But for most people, they don't know how to do it. They're only going to get themselves in bigger trouble. Uh, the bad guys are usually just better at using guns and using violence. Uh, so get out of there. But in this case, that's ridiculous. In this case, uh, as soon as you're being dominated by somebody else with force, you should be able to use any kind of force, any kind of force, as much force as necessary, including deadly force, in order to stop them. And the idea that you shouldn't use deadly force when you're not attacked with deadly force, how do you know the force is not deadly? And once somebody violates your rights, they're zero, they're out in that kind of way, in a violent way, they're out, and, and if, if, if you cannot call the police, if you can't protect yourself by using the police, it's, it, you have to protect yourself by any means possible, including shooting them in the head. You have to do it, do it. But your primary concern has to be your own self-preservation. And all I'm arguing is that empirically, you are better off preserving yourself by backing off, by getting out of there, rather than standing your ground. But if you're cornered, you cannot do that. Or if you're trained and you know what you're doing, kill the bastard. So uh, the bodega die, no question, it's an act of self-defense. I don't think you need a jury here. You've got, uh, you've got the video. I don't think you should be prosecuted. Um, it, there's, no, uh, there's no question here. There really is no question. So anyway. Nobody has an obligation to run in the face of deadly force, um, but it's the rational thing to do. <laughs> now, if you're trying to protect your family, if there are other people involved, if you can't run, I mean, there are all kinds of considerations, but your only concern should be your own life. And your own life is better served typically, not always, typically, by running away. It's not an issue of cowardice. It's an issue of reality. But... Here he's cornered, so there's no question about what is at stake. Um, and and uh, this, this doesn't have to go to a jury. For a matter of fact, we know he was attacked. It's not an issue of fact. Again, he couldn't have run, this guy, 1E61, B, but more importantly is he was cornered. He, he had no out. 
No. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.